These ceramic vessels were made in Korea sometime between about 900 and 1300 AD. Korean ceramics of this period are considered to be some of the most spectacular ceramic objects ever made, um, prized by collectors and museums all around the world. Korean pottery at this time borrowed a lot from China, but even Chinese potters were impressed and sometimes you know, amazed by what the Koreans managed to achieve with the materials and the styles and the ideas that they borrowed from China. One of the things that makes these vessels, these objects, so special is that they've got a celadon glaze on them. Now a glaze is something that potters use for functional reasons. It's a way to make the vessel more usable for food or water, it provides a sealing surface, but it's also something that's artistic. You can bring in colour and you can bring in different kinds of surface textures. So it's a way to make your object really beautiful. Glazes are usually made with silica, which is uh, used also in glass, which is what gives it a particular glassy effect. And then you add other chemicals to make it melt at different temperatures and also chemicals that make it different colours. The celadon glaze uses iron oxide to produce the particular greens that are most prized. And it can be many colours actually, a celadon, but the best, most special ones are from a really pale to a quite intense green. And people have said that perhaps it's the similarity to jade which makes the celadon so valued. But colour can also be affected by the kind of clay that's used to make the object. The colour of that, the body of the pot, will also affect the celadon colour and also the way it's fired. If you reduce the oxygen level in the kiln when you're firing the pot, that produces chemical changes that will make the colour change. Another thing that makes these vessels really special is the way in which the potters have used designs from nature, like flowers for example, which often had special or symbolic meanings in Korean society. And what's amazing is the design excellence in this, where you take an inspiration from nature and you turn it into an abstract pattern that's applied to a three-dimensional form with a curving surface. Sometimes this decoration that's incised into the vessel has a wonderful aspect when it comes to the celadon glaze because the layers, the ridges and the dips in the surface of the bowl allow the glaze to thin out or pull and create different effects, different colours. Well these objects actually come from the National Museum of Korea and they're on loan to the Auckland Museum. There is a New Zealand connection here. In the 1950s and 60s, New Zealand potters who were learning a lot about the world traditions, including Korean ceramics, which were considered to be the most excellent ceramics of all time, they would actually come here to the museum to look at them, to study them, to see how the glaze was made, to look at the form, to see how these potters had actually done their work. And then they would take those lessons away and use them in the own pots that they were making here in New Zealand. For more information, follow the links in the description below.